What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? All right. Y'all been rocking with me, True Squad, gang, gang. Hello to the new subscribers. I appreciate the support. I really do. I really, really do. Um, I'm Moon Goddess 2211, and I'm just checking in with y'all today. I know it's been a little while, but your girl got some time this weekend, so I was like, let me check in with my with my fam, bam, you know, my soul family and whatnot. Um, before we get started, I did want to say that um. I don't know what's going on with the comment section or whatever, but I have not deleted any comments, okay? Um, if your comments are not um, real negative or, um, you know, brings down the fre frequency within the collective, um, I have not deleted any comments. I have noticed that I see comments and then they somehow disappear. So I don't know what's going on, but me personally, I'm not deleting any comments if they're not extremely negative okay so i just wanted to put that out so if y'all been commenting and one one thank you holy spirit if y'all been commenting and you know your comment is gone it's not me i, I have not deleted any comments so i don't know what's going on with that but anyway back to it i hope y'all doing great doing fine um i just want to check in with y'all okay we're just gonna get into it thank you father god holy spirit most high God, Christ, Ra, Yahweh, Yahshua, my creator, my lover, my friend. Holy Spirit, thank you for being here with us today. Father God, what messages do you have for the collective? What do they need to know? Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, I ask that you continue to surround this reading as well as the collective. Protect this reading, holy ancestors, holy ancient ancestors of the pierced and highest holy white light. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Archangel Gabriel, Henry, Raphael, Metatron, Ascended Master, Spirit Gods, Holy Angels, Holy Fairies. Thank you all for being here today. Most of all, God, we thank you for allowing us another day to wake up and improve in our lives in some way, shape, or form. So, Holy Spirit. What uh, message do you have for us today? For the collective. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. I really want to jump. Let's see what comes out, y'all. Ooh. Look. The emperor. So, some of y'all bossing up. Some of y'all are in y'all emperor energy, whether you be male or female. Okay. Y'all are taking back control of your lives. Okay. Or this could be your divine masculine showing up today. Um, letting you know that he wants to be present. He or she wants to be present in your life okay but this is definitely about um taking back control of your life okay and standing firm on what you have built and believe what you have what you believe and what you have built look how this emperor's feet is standing on top of the world okay that's more that's more so saying yeah you got the world in the palm of your hands you have done the work you have bossed up you have taken back what is what was taken from you okay you you are taking back control thank you holy spirit yeah with the two of air you've made the decision in your life to no longer allow things to blind you and stagnate you and keep you in indecisive energy okay and this could be for some males in the connect in the collective as well but i am sensing an emperor energy making a decision to do the right thing no longer being stagnated by indecision or uh being um led blindly or blinded to the bullshit is what i'm hearing thank you holy spirit so we got aries energy out here six of earth what did i say um there is a divine masculine that definitely wants to come in and and give equally they want to come in and make it right yeah with the full card Yep, the full card. So the six of earth and the full card, they're ready to come in and, and take this leap of faith on this connection and make it right. I feel like they, they do understand that it's going to be equal give and take. So we got Aries, uh, Taurus energy out here. We have, yeah, earth energy out here. And then we have, yeah, we have fire. Yeah, we have fire and earth out here. Okay, but this person definitely wants to come in and take a leap of faith with you. Yeah, with the five of earth, they have left something in the past. Okay, this is the five of pentacles. So they have left something behind. They have a, a, a abandoned a, situ a situation to come in and take this leap of faith on you, divine feminine or divine masculine. 
either way it go, I feel like if you are not the divine masculine in the situation, you have definitely bossed up. You have definitely, um, you know, reached another level when it comes to um, uh, uh, the masculine side of your energy. You are understanding that there is a balance to everything, okay? And now you're willing and, and, and feeling com more confident in yourself to take a leap of faith in this new endeavor or this new position I'm hearing. Yeah, seven of fire, you are definitely protected, okay? Yeah, and this person is protecting this connection. This emperor energy is protecting this connection with the seven of fire here, which is the seven of wands, okay? So if this is, as far as work goes, this promotion that you're, you're about to receive that you have earned rightfully, okay, that you're about to jump into is definitely protected. Nobody can take this away from you, period, okay? Nobody can take this away from you. If this is regarding a love situation collective, your connection is protected. This person is defending this connection now. They want to come in and they want to take a, a, a new leap, a new leap of faith in love with you. Divine feminine or divine masculine watching. Put the energy where it goes, y'all. Yeah, with the judgment card. Yeah, this is spiritual judgment being had over these situations that have been going on in your life that you have fought to get through. Yeah. And you have stood up for yourself. Okay. You you have made healthy choices in your life now. And, that, and it's coming back to you. And for that, you are protected because you were obedient to the most high. You were obedient to your, your divine spiritual uh, team that was leading and guiding you as well as with the universe. Okay? So, yeah, y'all are protected in, in, in business and in love. Yeah, and this is judgment. Okay? This is judgment. Yeah, I was told to take it, so I am. Yeah. What? Because you... Used your spiritual gifts, the high priestess. You allowed your intuition to lead you and guide you. Yep. You took uh advice and and um guidance from from the universe, from 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 the higher powers. Okay. And with the six of waters, like I said, this person wants to come back. Okay. Six of cups. And 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 with the six of cups in business, this is you, your growth. Okay. And and the company have. The, this company has seen your growth, okay? And and they have seen the work that you have put in to educate yourself, okay? And learn so that you can do your job to the best of your abilities, okay? And this has nothing to do with you proving anything to anybody. This was about you proving this to yourself that you deserve it, that you're worth it, period, point blank. And you've grown, yeah. And you allowed your intuition to uh, use you. Yeah, with the six of fire as the overall energy, this is going to be total success. Yeah, total success, period. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the confirmation. Yeah, Instagram business. I don't even know why that came. Like, I said that. But this definitely could be pertaining to business or love. So put the energy where, where it goes in your, uh, in your life. Thank you, collective. I love y'all, okay? So... With the devil card here, you do have haters. You have people conspiring against you, okay? And that low dem demonic, uh, low vibrational energy wanting to hate on you and stop what you got going, but that's null and void. Because re regardless, you're going to have this victory and you're going to have this success, whether it be in love or business, okay? And if you want to start that business, go ahead and start that business because it's going to be su successful despite what anybody says, Okay? Despite what the haters and naysayers say, whether they be family, friends, or just outside motherfuckers looking in and don't know what the fuck you got really going on in your life, period. But you are definitely divinely guided, okay? Yeah, with the judgment card and the high priestess, there is definitely a calling on your life. You are a very high-ranking spiritual divine being, whether you be male or female. I just got a burst of emotions. For some reason, but not of sadness, but of happiness and victory and love and growth and power, self-worth and self-love, knowing who you are now, knowing your worth, knowing that you do deserve whatever it is in your life that you want to manifest as far as greatness, success and wealth and abundance. You do. And, and now that you actually put in the work to step into your emperor energy. You're about to reap the rewards. People can't help but to see you shine and to see you glow. Haters as well with the devil card. 
okay? People are really low-key, secretly obsessed with you. But you see the higher powers up there watching you at the top of the card? You are protected. The, the Most High sees everything. Your ancestors see everything. The universe, the divine, they see everything. You're protected regardless of what people try to plan and plot and scheme on you behind your back. Okay, period, point blank. Like I said, with that seven of wands, you're protected. So whatever they think I planned on, uh, plan, whatever they think they have planned out for you is going to backfire. They're planning, they're planning out their own demise. Whatever they feel like they have planned out for you is what they're planning out for themselves. Okay, because they messing with a chosen vessel, period. High priestess and the emperor, chosen vessel, period, point blank. Male or female, put the energy where it goes, because this is energy, okay? And we all embody the masculine and feminine energy, but it's all about balance. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Page of water, yes. Yes. Yes, people are going to owe you apologies, but people are going to acknowledge you and your hard work, period, point blank. And like I said, when it comes to love, someone is coming in to express love to you. Okay, they held back. I feel like this emperor held back from you. Now they with the page of water, they want to come in with an expression of love. Yeah, nine of fire. Okay, because they feel guilty. Not only are they guilty, but they've been wounded in this battle. Okay, because this is all karma that they had built up on themselves. Period, point blank. Now they want to come in and they want to express this love. And if this is it. As far as the job goes, everything that they have said about you in a negative way or everything, every um type of uh perception or depiction of you they tried to paint out about you in a negative way is backfiring. And, and the company is seeing this. And now this person is, is going to be really, really apologetic for how they, you know, tried to tear down your character and your work ethic. And it's going to cause them some pain and some shame. Woo! Yep, seven vert. <clears throat> yeah, because you planted the right seeds. You stay, you stay steadfast and unmovable. You planted those seeds in your garden, and now they're manifesting into your, your, your reality, your physical, into your 5D. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And not only that, like I said, in love, this person feels like y'all have definitely... Um, invested in each other invested time and love okay so they definitely want to come in and, and watch this manifest thank you holy spirit three of earth what did i say this person want to come in they want to build with you work with you like i said this could be a work situation and if it's not work situation it's love three of pentacles they want to work with you because they like how you build they see how hard you go they see how Hard you go to master self, to master the skills and abilities it takes to um, uh, attain and, 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 and uh, attain this position, but not only attain this position, but to actually execute this position. As well as in love, this your divine masculine, which I'm feeling more so a divine masculine energy. Okay, it's energy. I feel like they have studied you and they've seen your growth and they see how hard you have worked to build yourself up despite everything that was thrown at you to tear you down. You didn't do nothing but build yourself up. You built your own steady, stern uh, foundation, solid, okay? And they see that you are somebody that they can build with. They can build an empire with. They can build those businesses. They actually want to come together as one. I'm also seeing this Three of Pentacles as a marriage card. They want to come together as one. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, with the Four of Air. They've healed. They're healing. You've healed, okay? Which is in turn <laughs> making this person come to a realization that you have never given them anything but peace, okay? During this healing um, process, okay? That's in love. And as far as uh, this business situation that I'm picking up or work situation that I'm picking up on, this individual, these, these colleagues or colleague that have been plotting and planning against you are about to be laid to rest. Yeah, they're about to be let go. <laughs> they're going to be let go of. Ooh, wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Archangel Michael, continue to be with me. 
Come around and protect this reading. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Five of water. What did I say? They're going to be in heavy regret. Yep. These people are going to be in heavy regret. They're going to be crying over spilled milk because what they what they planned out for you, like I said, what they came together and planned out for you with this three of pentacles and this five of water here, they're going to be in heavy regret. They're going to be crying. They're going to be at a loss. They're going to wish they never had a did whatever it is that they did to conspire against this work situation or this love situation. Period, point blank. Ten of earth. Because at the end of the day, y'all are destined for abundance with the Ten of Pentacles. Yep, and the Temperance card. You did the healing work. You did what you were supposed to do. You are that earth angel. I'm telling you, people see you as a very powerful healing individual. Okay, and abundant. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, they're going to regret trying to come against you. Period. Not knowing you got a whole team of ancestors with the Ten of Pentacles here and, a, and, a, and a, um, divine spiritual protection from the Most High God. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be sorry. You got a whole team ready to go to war behind you. Period, point blank. They are mad at your success and abundance. Whether it be in, in spirit, mental, or physical, material. Either way, you're healed. You, you know how to heal. You know how to heal yourself with the temperance card. But not only that, you've been very patient. Okay? You have stayed calm through this storm. Through this tower moment. Because that's what I'm feeling. It was like more so like a tower moment. You couldn't understand why you felt like everything was coming against you. You didn't know why. All you knew is that you was doing the work. You was doing your work. That's it. You was focused on your work. Doing what you were supposed to be doing. Like I said... Focused on your work with the Three of Pentacles. Taking back control of your life. You know what I'm saying? Executing those goals and dreams and aspirations that you have uh, set out to do. Actually executing that shit. And people got mad and jealous. And it, it just wasn't anything that you could do about it. Okay? When you're a chosen individual, you know, it's, it's not easy. You know, but because you was doing the right thing, people hated on you. Because it was... It was the work that you were doing internally was exuding externally and into your physical. I just saw 1717. 17. So these people had no, no choice but to, you know, um, become jealous because they couldn't understand where you were getting this strength from, where you were getting these gifts from, where, where were you getting this wisdom and knowledge from, where were you getting this know-how from, okay? Because it seems like you started, you was like the underdog is what I'm picking up. Seems as though you started at the started as the underdog and you didn't turn into the emperor or empress on their asses. So they wanted to come together and, and conspire against you. And it, it's backfiring. It's backfiring. Yeah, at the, two, uh, at the bottom of the deck, the two of water here, two of cups. Yeah, this person wants your friendship. This company is going to want to partner up with you. Okay, they want to work with you. They see some type of um endeavor that they can um that you guys can utilize you know benefit from each other you know as far as working together they feel like they can work with you and they can build something very lucrative very creative with you yeah they love your work ethic period point blank and this person loves you as a friend and a lover and a soulmate you know put the energy where it go whether it be work or love yeah queen of earth what did i say you bossed up, period. You bossed up. You went from the queen or king of pinnacles to the emperor or empress, period. They didn't understand where it was coming from. But like I said, in love, this person sees you as wife or husband material. They see you can sustain on your own. They see that you can hold your own fort down. Okay, you can protect your own home front. Okay, you're not codependent. You're independent, okay? But not overly independent to where you feel like, you know, you just don't need anybody. That's not the case. You're independent to sustain and to take care of what you've already built. People love that. Anything coming to you is an extra or an add-on. So people love that about you, whether you be male or female. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, five of air, yep. Yeah, some of y'all were, like I said, in mental conflict, trying to understand what it is that, you know, uh, that people felt, you know, so maliciously towards you about, you know, with that malicious energy. But 
at the end of the day, you know, you're going to have some talk about you, period, point blank. The haters ain't going nowhere, but who cares? Okay, but like I said, some of y'all did go through that mental conflict trying to understand the situation when it was never meant for you to understand the situation. It was meant for you to go through the situation, not understand the situation, go through the situation because this helped you, this helped you boss up into your emperor or empress status, period, point blank, okay? And now you shining and everybody want to know how you did what you did. Yeah, yeah, everybody watching, four of pinnacles here, four of earth, everybody watching, trying to gain a little information from me. What, it, what is it that she doing or he he or she doing to, to elevate so quick and so fast? And, 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 and while we throwing all these burdens, problems and obstacles at this person it seems like they ain't doing nothing but packing it under their feet and using it as a footstool to get or obtain whatever it is they want to obtain period point blank you're you're man listen father knows best by kirk franklin Wipe those tears from your eyes. God always knows best at the end of the day, y'all. So if you are being obedient to the most high God, consider yourself blessed. Consider your prayers answered. Con consider your manifestations uh, made true now. Period. Hold me close and don't let me go. You've been protected this whole time. Like I said, y'all got ancestors in. in. Listen, listen. To a fire. Period. People are choosing. Your job is choosing you. Your divine masculine is choosing you. They want to partner up with you. But with the eight of fire and the six of air, baby. Like I said, you bossed up so fast. That six of, six of swords is you You going through that turbulent battle. You going towards your peace, your abundance, and your success. And it happened so fast. With the eight of wands, people couldn't understand how you did what you did. How you got on that path and you made shit happen. Not understanding that it only happened because you are aligned spiritually with, with, with high vibrational energies and frequencies. You are aligned with the universe. You're aligned with the most high God. Okay, you're aligned with your ancestors and your spiritual team that helps lead and guide you along the way. Period, point blank. That, and that's just what it is. And it, it's, it's happening fast. Some of y'all, it hasn't happened yet, but it's going to in the blink of an eye, I'm telling you. As long as you continue to focus on you and doing your work, okay, leveling up, bossing up, taking care of your home front, attaining those dreams and goals, okay, keeping God first, uh, showing gratitude towards your ancestors and your divine spiritual team, you can't lose. Ain't no losing. This ain't a losing battle. What you did have to go through is, 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 is lessons, you know, to help you transform and grow and, and to help mold you and make you into the boss that you are. You've always been that boss. But God had to send you through something to help you, you transform into that boss. You want to never saw your true worth if you never went through what, whatever it is that you were going through that was causing you uh, mental conflict and causing you to 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 self doubt to not believe in yourself with that five of swords not believe in this this union not believe in this new promotion or this position that you're getting ready to go into but it's happening regardless I'm telling you at the bottom of the deck successful funding your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it, turning it into reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships, and other investments are available to help you. I'm telling y'all, this is for you. This is for you. Anything you do from here on out is going to be successful. So don't doubt yourself. Like they said, you are supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Don't allow money concerns in what looks like on the physical 
is not going to happen. You have to have that faith. You have to plant that seed. You have to nurture that seed. And when you feel yourself falling off and getting into those negative lower vibrations, what do you need to do? You need to meditate. You need to go within. Sometimes we have to separate ourselves from the crowd to get our mind, our energy, souls and spirits together and realign with our purpose, period. Okay, because when you're set apart and you're chosen, you can't hang with just anybody. You can't surround yourself with just any type of energy. Yeah, people going to look at you. They might call you stuck up. They might call you mean. They may call you bougie. They may call you uh, self-absorbed and all type of other shit. But they going to talk regardless. That's going to happen. You know why? Because they constantly see you leveling up. So, of course, they're going to feel that. And that's their own insecurities projecting off on you. So, don't allow anybody to project their emotional baggage onto you and stagnate you from getting to where you need to be as the emperor or the empress, period. Pay yourself first. Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. I'm telling you, all those plans y'all made, they're not going all in void. So continue to do what you're doing, successful funding, period. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Visualize abundance in all forms. God gave you such God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, helpful, positive, and filled with blessings, and that is what you will experience. So, like, um, also, and which is true, but I'm sensing also y'all have a lot of um premonitions. Okay, y'all see far ahead. Okay, and this is a gift. Don't be scared of it. Because I know sometimes it can be scary because I, I went through that same thing ever since I was a child. Um, it's really It really runs in my family, spiritual gifts. My family is very highly spiritually gifted individuals. It's in my blood. Okay, so I can't help that. I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing. I just follow my path. Others in my family, you know, didn't understand. That's why I'm here to break the generational curses and break the ancestral chains on my family, period, point blank, within my bloodline. That's my purpose. So don't be afraid. When you when you feel, you know, uh, taken back by your spiritual gifts, calm down, take a couple deep breaths, okay? Release all the, 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 the negative energy <laughs> of, of the shock and the trauma, you know, and meditate and ask God what it is that you need to be doing with those spiritual gifts. Ask God to help you and your ancestors. They there to help you every step of the way because they don't, they, they chose you too. Okay. So you ain't never alone. You just got to get in tune with that high priestess energy. You have to get in tune with your spiritual gifts. First of all, you have to get in tune with yourself. You have to know thyself first. Get in tune with your higher self, your spirit man, your soul. Okay? And get in alignment with the universe, with the divine and the higher powers that be that surround you. Okay? If you don't know where to start, pray to God. Just have a regular conversation. God, listen. I know, I know, you know. We may have not talked in a while, but I need your guidance and I need your help. He's going to answer you. You know, God is a just God, whether y'all want to believe it or not. You know, but he's always there to help a, 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 a soul in need that needs guidance and unconditional love and clarity. You know, meditate, ground yourself, separate yourself for a little while, okay? It's okay. And if people have a problem with you doing that, they're not for you. Anybody that truly loves you, or they're going to understand that aspect. And when you come back, they gonna be, it's going to be like y'all picked up where y'all left, left off, you know? Shit, it's like y'all ain't no love or time lost, okay? One more Holy Spirit. And then we're going to get some messages. So this could be for love and or uh work, business, anything else, Holy Spirit. One more card. Okay. 
declutter. You'll feel better and more focused if you take the time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help to others who, who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. So some of y'all, like I said, y'all need to clean up shop. Whether it be in your house, your home, your friends, you know, friendships, partnerships, business, whatever. It's time to get rid of what no longer serves you, period. Cut out the bullshit abundance <clears throat> overall energy i'm sorry y'all abundance mindset if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future then it will always be one day away from you see feel think and speak of abundance as something you may already have in this present moment and that is what you will experience change your mindset got to change your mindset i'm gonna put this over here Gotta change your mindset. Power of prayer. What did I say? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Power of prayer. Give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love, and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon up on the divine guidance God gives you gives to you in response to your prayers. Okay? So I'm going to read this one more time. Give this, situ give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love, and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives to you in response to your prayers. I told you, if you don't know where to go, God's going to help you get there, period, point blank. And release, uh, release resentments about money because that could stagnate your abundance. The mindset, okay? We all still learning. I'm still learning. Ain't nobody perfect. You hear me? Not even me. Shit, I go through my shit too. Shit, I still have lessons to learn and all type of other shit too. I get up here, I'm just, this is what I'm called to do. That, that don't mean that my life is perfect. I still got goals and stuff I'm trying to reach. I'm still learning lessons, okay? So, at the end of the day, don't let your obstacles and your trials and your situation for what it looks like right now hinder you from the abundance that God is trying to help you attain in your life. Have to be strong, okay? Even when we feel weak, pray. Power of prayer. Add, pray for power. Power. Ask God for strength. Ask God for guidance. Ask God to help you, you know what I'm saying, stand strong. Period. Y'all like my shirt, Aaliyah? I love her. That's one of my favorite artists still to this day. Okay? I love Aaliyah. But yeah, she's the reason why I love dancing. I love, man, listen, we ain't gonna get into all that. But that's a little fun fact about me. Okay? At the bottom of the deck, curses are broken. All dark deeds are null and void. Okay, so curses are broken. Curses are getting ready to be broken. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, I saw private and get investigators. So like I said, these uh, people that's plotting and planning against you gonna fail, period, point blank. It's all gonna backfire. They're not gonna find nothing on you. I'm telling you that now. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael Gabriel. All eyes on me. All eyes on me. Like I said, people watching you, they wondering how you bossed up and did what you did so fast and so quick because they were so busy throwing salt on you, throwing throwing negativity your way, trying to put a uh, burden, throwing burdens on you, or at least trying to cause you delays and blockages and, and hold up, stagnate you. They trying to figure out what it is that you did, collective. You got the keys. What did I say? You got the keys to manifest whatever it is in your life that you want to manifest. This is high priestess energy. You got the keys, baby. Utilize them. You chose them. Like I said, bottom of the deck. I apologize for taking a risk to gamble against you. That's for your, your divine masculine or these haters. I'm telling you with that page of cups. Some of y'all, some of y'all, y'all divine masculine or your twin could have went against you. And they want to apologize for that, okay? Because they see how powerful you really are. That's what I'm saying. Y'all don't understand the power that y'all really hold is what I'm feeling now. 
but know that you got the keys. You got the keys. All eyes on you. You have broken curses. All dark deeds are null and void. Man, listen. You better know who you are. Anything else, Holy Spirit? And we 35 minutes in this thing. Let me hurry up. <laughs> Daydreaming, daydreaming. So, like, your divine masculine or divine feminine is thinking about you, okay? They dreaming and fantasizing about what y'all life could be like during the daytime, okay? Daydreaming, daydreaming, yeah. <laughs> That's a song uh, by uh, Fabulous and uh, YFN, uh, YFN Lucci, yeah. Backstabbed and portrayal, like I said, the haters and the naysayers. And like I said, your partner could have went against you, period, point blank. It's coming out. And they're regretful, you know, with that nine of wands and that five of cup, uh, regretful and shamed about it. You didn't deserve me turning my back on you. So your person is saying they didn't deserve, you know, you didn't deserve them turning your back on you. As well as this could be co-workers or, you know what I'm saying, in business as well. Big step of big dog energy. I'm talking about it. I'm talking about it. You a big step of big dog. They trying to figure out how you got on this emperor or emperor status. Gotta watch the way you shake my hand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rain, rain down on me. Make it drizzle. Oh, so y'all person is feeling sexual. Okay. Your person wants you to make it rain on them. Uh, on the pole or on the face, whichever one. <laughs> Overall energy, I'm far from perfect, but I'm working to get better. So your person is saying they're working towards you. They're working to get better. They're working to get better because they want to bring in this union with you. My karmics are trying to destroy me. Look, this could go for you or your person or both of y'all. I feel more so the person though because they want to come towards you. And like I said, people want to cause blockages and holdups and delays. So they want to destroy this masculine, divine masculine or divine feminine. Okay. Because they know this union is destined, period. Success, wealth, and abundance is your birthright. Oh, and I'm closing it out with that. Success, wealth, and abundance is your birthright. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the messages you have brought forth. We thank you for today. Thank you for using me as a vessel, a conduit, and a channel for your messages to bring forth to your people to help us grow, heal, ascend, and just overall improve in our lives on a daily basis. We thank you, Father God. So that's what I have for y'all today. I'm Moon Goddess 2211. I am open for personal, uh, personal readings. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, please drop the description box down below and all the information is listed there for you um, at your disposal or at your leisure, should I say. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I have for y'all. True squad, gang, gang. Y'all stay up, stay prayed up, stay aligned. Continue to love yourself first, always. Be confident, stand firm, and don't allow nobody to knock you off your pivot. You hear me? Because this is about to be a major turnaround for you. Especially with the Six of Pentacles here. Everything that was that you have planted in a positive way is getting ready to come back to, to you. And everything that was thrown at you in a negative way is getting ready to return to cinder. So, that's what I have for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this message. Uh, continue to like, share, uh, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Please, please, please do that for your girl. Hit the like button. Hit that like button and bang that notification bell so you'll always be notified when I uh post. Post up when I post up. <laughs> so, yeah, I love y'all, man. Have a great, fabulous day. Mwah. Namaste, my loves.